join all five of Bravo's yacht captains for one epic discussion. When you get to the bridge, especially as a woman, I didn't want to take a risk. Hear about how it all started. I actually left boats and I was painting houses. We're filming tomorrow and you're the captain. Secrets from filming. The production team behind the scenes is absolutely it's amazing. Uh, it's mind blowing. And the most dangerous part of making the show. We don't and stay. You're alive. just, you're no. just, you're rolling and rocking all exactly. over the place. This is Bravo's Below Deck at the helm. We've all gone through this morph period where we're doing our job as captains. And then all of a sudden, here's this reality TV show that we're thrust into. Now, all of you went through a process of interviewing, taping. I was just a pure accident. I was that baby that wasn't expected. So I didn't do any interviews. I didn't do any taping. Yeah. It was just like, we're filming tomorrow and you're the captain. If you want to go to war with me about this thing, we can do that right here and right now, or you can just do your job. Oh, I honestly think I was pretty naive. <laughs> I didn't think it was this big of a deal. You know, I, I don't live in America, and I, I do live in <laughs> Philippines, and I got a phone call about using the boat in Below Deck. Then they rung me and said, do you want to apply for being the captain? I was like, I was, OK, could be time for a change. We've got a pretty busy season ahead of us, which is going to be fantastic. He is so handsome. <laughs> when you get to the bridge, especially as a woman, I didn't want to take a risk. I'm sober. My sponsor goes, Sandy, when a door of opportunity opens, walk through the door, because you can always walk back out the door. Yeah. And that's when I said yes. When they reached out to me um, about helping them find a boat, and I said, just said, hey, maybe the boat I'm on, uh, and then we started down that path. I wasn't sure I wanted to be involved. And I remember reaching out to you two, and you two gave me great advice and said, listen, just do your job and be yourself. And because of that, that's why I'm sitting here today. So thank you very much. Everything because else I'm takes really, care of itself. I'm really happy it's worked <laughs> yeah. out this way. We all have good days full of rainbows and unicorns. Wow. And then we have some bad days, right? But I like it that way. I'd just gone through a divorce and I didn't know which direction I wanted to go. And I, I actually left boats and I was painting houses. Really? And I was like, earbuds in, self-help books, trying to get my, my head back in, back in the game. When the opportunity came along, they said it was going to be Alaska, right? Our bucket list place. And I'm like, yeah. you know what? It doesn't matter what happens. I'm going to go to Alaska. Yeah. I remember pulling in to Puerto Plaisance in St. Martin, and there was 50 of just the most misfit individuals I'd ever seen in my life standing on the dock, waiting to converge on the boat. As soon as the gang planks down, they're invading the boat. They're ripping walls out. They're ripping ceilings out, installing cameras, wiring. Nobody really knew what we were doing, right. what to expect because nobody had ever filmed on a boat that was going to be moving. There's a learning curve there for a season or two because my first season was the same thing. And then you get a little bit uptight. And then season two comes into play. And, you're, and then you, you're right across it. Having the cameras there is not that big a deal. You get used to them pretty quickly and you just you kind of ignore them and just get on with the job. Exactly. The logistics of getting all the production people on and off the boat safely multiple times a day adds an extra element that's something you wouldn't deal with yes. if you had no one there and other you, than gas. You have it extremely gas. tough because you don't have the you don't have the benefit of, of, of stabilizers and, we don't and stabilize, you're just you're no. just you're rolling and rocking all exactly. over the place. Uh, we just lost our stabilizers. Losing stabilizers is very dangerous. That's probably one of the most unsafe bit is the transfer of the production crew. Yeah. Um their their meal breaks. Yeah. Um you know, like how many production crew do you have? In a day, I think I have 34 different people, not all at the same time, but coming on and off the boat in shifts. You've got to get them back because they can't stay on the boat, right? They're all going back to stay in hotels ashore. So re regardless of the conditions, you've got to be able to transfer them into a water taxi and get them to, we don't have bunks on board. They got nowhere to sleep. They're not going to sleep on the as hell, the saloon. And they're going to have a miserable ride back. They got to. But they got to get off the boat because you can't stay here. They got to, we don't have accommodation for them. 
make the crossing. Counts. And wait, when the follow boat doesn't want to make the crossing because it's oh, too rough. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Right. You have another boat that follows for the, yes. for the cooking and the, yeah. and the yes. sleeping. But, and they, or they, the water taxi doesn't want to make yeah. the crossing. The water taxi, you know, because yeah. it's, it's rough sea and they got to yeah. get them back to the hotel. Well, they're smaller boats and they go, we can't leave the dock because it's a force five or a force six. It's <laughs> good when you have a uh, crew coming back, production crew coming back season after season. Yes. Because they then it. they get the picture. Yeah. You know, that's like you were saying about the, your second season. And so when they come back, they know what's going on. Yeah. They know how to stay safe. I was really how to fortunate. Keep your equipment safe. Yeah. You know, I had, really I had the same crew for years and years. Exactly. And everybody, we had it pretty well dialed in. Yeah. My philosophy was, I'm a captain that gets filmed doing his job. Yeah. You have a job to do, I have a job to do. Yeah. If we can do whatever it is you'd like to do safely, we'll do it. If we can't, we won't, and we're not gonna have any discussions about it. In the meantime, you we have all these other logistics that are going on around us, and we all wanna make a great TV show. So we're rubbing on the dock, Lynn, we're rubbing on the dock. Oh my god. Me. Can you bring a fender back there, JR? We don't need jam. Oh my god. F***ing hell. Port anchor's dragging, Glenn. Don't put your hands in between the bars. F***ing, there goes the bow. I was one of those people who mistakenly thought, you know, that it was made up, like it wasn't real <laughs> reality, I, you know, and I was like, I'd never seen the show because I didn't think it was for me. The production team behind the scenes is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's it's mind-blowing from us. We, uh, you know, we, we organise logistics as a living. Yeah, but this is um, a whole other... This is lo well, logistics on steroids. Yeah. Now I think, okay, if I walk that way, then they're going to be in the shot. Right, and they just found their little corner on the boat, yes. right? So <laughs> the thing I want to do is make them run like <laughs> scared cats. And they, they, with all this equipment, and I just thought, I don't want to be that person, so I'll pick the starboard side of the boat to walk down. Yeah, it was a bit hairy at the beginning. You know, You're good you at it. What to expect. But like you were saying, the, 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 the production, incredible professionals. I was just blown away by it. And I'll never forget, um, there was a crew member that was really rude to production. And I'm like, we're one crew. Yeah. Like, we're one crew. We're all here to do the same thing, create a great TV show, do our jobs on board, and just be kind and helpful because that's really, we're trying to do the same thing. See, that's the thing that I found intriguing is because as soon as the lines leave the dock, nothing changes. All production is at that point is a charter guest. Agreed. Yep. Yeah. Period. You still bear responsibility for whatever happens to anybody, whether they're carrying a camera or whether they're carrying a cocktail. For another look behind the scenes, join us next time at the helm.